G'day. Normally when I make these videos, I talk a bit about how I made the painting and chuck in a few jokes. This works fine when I'm making something based on pop culture or video games, but this time it's a bit more serious, so I want to talk about why I made it. As an Australian living in New Zealand, with all my family in my home country, I've been horrified by the footage and stories coming out of Australia during the bushfire crisis. But a taste of the reality of it was brought home to me, very literally, when the sky over my city turned red from the shadow of Australia's flames, and the air smelled of fires burning over 2,000 kilometres away. The photos you can see now are ones I took myself in the middle of the day. Hashtag no filter. Seeing this made me desperate to do something to help, but it felt like there wasn't much I could do. My skill set includes writing books for accountants and painting birds wearing hats, neither of which scream taking action on climate change. But when I saw Wallaby Point real estate agent Adam Stevenson's viral photo of a kookaburra surveying burnt bushlands, I realised there might be something I could do. If I could paint an Australian bird and enough people saw it, I could sell the painting and prints and donate the proceeds to wildlife recovery and firefighters, and maybe that alone would be a small help. But there's something else I want to try to achieve with this painting, or rather, this video of me painting the painting. As you probably know, Australia has always had wildfires, and eucalypts in particular are designed to burn. That's not the point. The point is that global warming is driving hotter and drier conditions that make fires much worse. If you have a problem with that, please don't take it up with me. Go have a yell at the laws of thermodynamics. The thing is, the number of people who deny the reality of climate change is a lot smaller than most people think. But due to the inherent human bias to focus on the negative, if we do talk about climate change, it tends to be in the form of arguing the point with the exact people who are most likely to disagree. If we ignore the people who can't be convinced and instead talk to the ones in our lives who matter the most, we'll realize that not only are others concerned, but that together we can make a meaningful, positive difference. The fact that denial is so prominent hides that the majority of people not only accept reality and, you know, physics, but they're worried about the implications of a rapidly heating world. Why does this matter? Well, a climate scientist called Catherine Hayhoe, who is, interestingly, also an evangelical Christian, is one of the people I most admire. And she says that the most helpful thing ordinary people can do about climate change is talk about it. So you might be getting an idea of what I want to achieve with this sort of artwork. That doesn't mean it'll happen. There's an idea in art criticism called the death of the author, which essentially means art can mean whatever the audience wants it to mean. Although the artist can have a definitive purpose in mind for their work, and I definitely do, people are still going to project their own ideology on any given artwork. And once they've seen the finished painting of a kookaburra wearing a firefighter's hat, I expect people's assumptions of the artwork's meaning might be pretty similar to their instinctive reaction to the crisis that inspired it. And a lot of that reaction probably isn't driven by facts, but rather how they feel comfortable expressing emotion in their own tribal context. Their reaction could be kind, but profoundly unhelpful, or in an act of fear-driven mental rebellion against a crisis that seems truly insurmountable, they could place blame in precisely the wrong place. Or it could be a more accurate placement of blame filled with righteous anger and despair, which, as satisfying as it may be to say, still doesn't fundamentally help matters. Disasters show both the best and the worst that humans have to offer. We instinctively want to do good, but it's important to make sure that the help we offer is actually helpful. So here's how you can help. Talk about climate change. Don't be afraid of being labelled a climate change cook. Or in this case, a climate change kookaburra. There was always going to be a pun in there somewhere.